Well, what an exciting time to be a dragon. And as dragons, we know the love and pride we feel for our school. It's evident in the amount of work and dedication that goes into everything we do. We have dreamed of the day when we can say that our facilities match the pride we feel for our schools. And here we are, shovels in the sand, some hard hats, a symbolic representation that that dream is now becoming a reality. It did not happen by chance. There were many before us, and many of those that stand with us today that pressed forward and persevered to do what's best for the Dragon community. While there's much work to be completed, there are many growing pains to be felt. We are confident that we will continue to stay optimistic and thankful for the great things that lie ahead for those that call themselves a Dragon. Thank you for being here today. Students and staff know that each one of you is appreciated, you're loved, and recognized as a valuable member of the Dragon family. Please continue to do your part to keep SCSC great. While we are excited about the new fields, while we're excited about the new classrooms, hallways, etc., the facilities will never be what makes SCSC special. It's those that are playing on the fields, those that are learning in the classrooms, and those that are walking the hallways. It is our responsibility, it is my responsibility, it is all of our responsibility to keep SCSC great. I now have the opportunity and privilege to introduce one of the school board members. Before I do, I want everyone to know you'll be hard pressed to find a school board who spends as much time and energy and is as passionate and enthusiasm about serving their district. They spent countless hours for not only these projects, but curriculum and many other items. So we are thankful for them. And without further ado, I will turn it over to the school board president, Mr. Chris Roundtree. My name's Chris Roundtree and I'm the president of the Silver Creek School Corporation. And it's my honor to be with all of you. I'd first like to welcome our students, staff and guests. Also want to say how appreciative I am to Mr. Smith for the SC and the, the audio this morning, but also want to say thank you to our administrators, principals, and teachers because without them and their preparation, we wouldn't have this. As I stand before you this morning excited, the first word that comes to my mind is finally. You see in my eyes, Silver Creek's always had the best schools. We have the very best teachers, staff, and students, so how can we not? And finally, you will have the facilities you all desperately need and the facilities you rightfully deserve. While we're here today for a groundbreaking ceremony, in reality, it's much more than that. Today symbolizes the commitment in the future of our schools and a much needed investment in all of you and this community. As with any construction, project, especially to this magnitude, there are going to be inconveniences, there are going to be frustrations, and there will be disappointments. I just ask you to please be patient. This will be a marathon and not a sprint. I'll quote Tony Gaskins to say that growth hurts because change isn't easy, and that's why we call it growing pains. And it's finally time to get to experience some of those growing pains. Many thanks go out to a lot of people the last year to get this process moving in the right direction. Many thanks to my fellow board members, Dr. Briggs, Dr. Balma, Balmer, Ms. Hawkins, and John Dablo for working daily to implement this plan. To our administrators and to our staff, thank you for your valuable input and dialogue to make these facilities the best and most practical we can. And finally, Skillman and CSO for working through numerous challenges and changes. But there's been a lot of work put in by people over the years just to get to this point. We are honored to have some of them with us today. In just a few minutes, my fellow board member and colleague Christy Franklin will introduce a couple that are with us. These people along with others that are not able to be here today had a vision years ago my biggest regret, and I assume that they would share the same opinion, is that this project could not have started sooner. But it wasn't from a lack of effort. The unfortunate truth is, there are many students and staff 
including some of you here today, that will not be able to reap the benefits that we're kicking off. And that is just simply because a few people for many years tried to derail the progress and improvements of Silver Creek. But as we stand here today, write it down, take a drone shot, tweet it, snap it, post it, whatever it is you do, but let it be known they failed and you succeeded. Because you see, this project is much bigger than any one thing or people. This is a historic project of epic proportion and that is something Dragon Nation can be proud of, finally. Thank you. But at this time, we would like to recognize three individuals, the individuals who dedicated themselves to their community. They had a commitment to education, they had a vision outlined for the best outcomes for their stakeholders, and most importantly, the students. Their decisions took courage, persistence, and patience. Students, when you walk the halls going forth, just remember all the people that helped you get here. As everyone up here took pride in getting you here and pride in your community, the one thing about being a dragon is that we ask you to take pride in your school too. Once a dragon, always a dragon.